right, welcome to chapter 2 of the class for Business Law Foundation Level Examination. So in this chapter, we'll be talking about the function of law. The function of law, like we discussed in chapter 1, whereby we define the concept of law to be as what? The set of rules that are what? Enforceable by courts to regulate the government of a state, the relationship between the state and its citizens, and also from one citizen to another. So these rules and regulation are what are to guide human conduct. So laws are what and rules and regulation are used to guide human conduct in the society. So now we want to talk about the function of that law. All right. So the the purpose of law is to maintain the order of, of the country despite changes in leadership. So you can see that one purpose of law is to what is to maintain order of the country despite changes in leadership. Whether the government changes or like the law is still the same. It works. It is used to maintain order. So below are the functions of law in the state. So my one is that the law regulates conduct. Conduct of who? Conduct of the citizens. Conduct of the government. Conduct of those working in the government. Whether you are the city, everybody is a citizen of the country. Whether non-citizens or citizens, it regulates the conduct. So it acts as a what? As a deterrent against any action that violates rules and regulation. So it regulates the conduct of human beings. So as to work, so as to promote a decent society. So the second function of law is that it avoids or settles disputes. So it avoids or settles disputes. So you can see that contract law sets out rules for making and enforcing arrangements. So you can see that before you can go into contract, you must uh, meet some valid elements. So in order not to work, reduce disputes. For example, whether there's a loss of money in the contract, then there's a law that actually spells out how the uh, loss should be treated or be accounted for. So the law reduces or settles dispute. So uh, the third function of law is that it set out rights and obligation. It set out rights and obligation. So for example, the Charter of Rights limits the Charter of Rights limits the government authority over citizen. So everybody is going to know is your own rights and obligations. So it is true law. For example, uh, in the Nigeria Constitution. There's a section that actually states that um, the rights and obligations of citizens and the rights and obligations of the government. So the government has a uh, has an obligation to the state, and the citizens have an obligation to who? To the government. So it is vice versa. So it sets out the rights and obligations. And so the third function of law is that it provides remedies. So law provides remedies. So for example, if your rights have been violated. Under the law, the law provides a system of recourse. If the law has actually been violated, then there's a what? There's a system in place that will actually what? That will actually remedy such a situation. Or it's going to what? It's going to save you from such a situation. So the fifth function of uh, law is that it maintains order and provides protection. So you can see that it prohibits certain acts. You know, when the law actually provides protection, it prohibits certain acts. For example. There's a law in Nigeria that actually um, stipulates that there should be no dumping of harmful products into the country. So you can see that well, it's protecting the citizens of the country. So the law that maintains others and provides protection, it provides remedy. So it sets up the structure of government. You can see that the structure of the government didn't just work form on its own. It was the constitution that actually spelled out the duties and power of the various levels of government. Whether it is the federal government, the state government, or the local government, take note of that. So the law actually works. It set up the structure of the government, and everything is well defined in what in the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So the law also protects the interest. It protects the interest of the citizens. It protects the interest of the government as well. Uh, the eighth function of law is that maintenance of justice and fairness in society. So law maintains what justice. And fairness, whereby everything is being just and fair in the society. We've come to the end of chapter two. Uh, we're talking about what the function of law. Like we said earlier, that law regulates the conduct. It avoids or settles disputes. It sets out rights and obligations, and it provides remedies. For example, if your right has been violated, then there's a so there's a system of recourse that is going to that's going to provide the remedy. So it maintains order and provides protection. So law actually sets up the structure of government. Law uh, protects the interests of citizens, government, 
even non citizens of the country. And lastly, the law maintains justice and fairness in the society. So that's just a uh, summary about the function of law. If the student wants to read it very well and note it down, I would advise us to, uh, to get our writing materials and note those keywords, and uh, we should read it over and over again. All right, thank you.